Russell, what did um, what did you see in terms of the the live ball turnovers that that they were able to kind of get out and run on against you guys? Just making bad mistakes, bad decisions on that part. Uh, started with myself, just kind of take got to carry the ball. Did you feel like going into halftime, you guys had some momentum on your side, and and if so, how come you weren't able to really capture that coming out of the out of the second half? Uh, not sure. So you guys have had some stretches where you have a lot of turnovers in the first quarter, but you generally put that behind you and play pretty pretty clean the rest of the game. Didn't happen today. Why do you think it didn't, didn't uh, carry over? I don't know. Well, she passed 15,000 points today. Do milestones like that really even register at this no, point? No, it doesn't, but it's definitely something <clears throat> that I uh, don't take for granted to be able to play, obviously play this game for long enough to be able to do that. It's a blessing in itself, so. Russell, what are your thoughts on the way the team is defending, uh, particularly guarding the perimeter right now? Uh, we just got to do a better job. In what sense do y'all have to do a better job of this defending the perimeter? We just got to do a better job. One triple-double away from tying Oscar Robinson's record. You have six games left. What are your thoughts on breaking his record? Uh, we got to win. That's my thoughts. Was that your favorite assist of all time when Sabonis lost the ball and went straight up in the air and came through, came down through the basket? Mm -hmm. you, uh, seemed to, you seemed to enjoy that for a few seconds. Yeah, definitely for him, for sure. Anyone else for Russ tonight? Thank you, Russell. Yeah, thanks. Nice question. Jay, uh, what, did, what did you notice as some of the, the issues you all were having out there tonight? Um, you know, I feel like we all got to do a better job coming ready to play. I feel like we did a great job of, you know, Fighting ourselves back in the game like the last five minutes, and not just this, not just this game, but you know, the past three, four games, we've been scratching and clawing last last couple of minutes of the game, and that's how we should play the whole game. And uh, you know, I feel like you know we got to do a better job coming out, being ready to play. How does that happen? You've been in the league long enough to know kind of how to bring it each night. How does that happen collectively as a group for you guys? Oh, um, I think guys just got to figure it out by themselves. Um, do a little routine, ritual, whatever you want to call it. Um, but, you know, once you step on that floor, you got to lay it all out on the line, and, you know. It's that time of the year, you know, you got to move and progress upward, you know, going into the playoffs. So we're just trying to figure out a way and, you know, find a more sustainable way to play basketball. Andre, how much did that third quarter hurt you guys, you know, going scoreless for like the first six minutes? You know, you guys only had 16 in that third quarter. Um, I wouldn't say it didn't. It really didn't hurt us, to be honest. Uh, I never really like judging our offense. Uh, it's the defense, and if we don't score, you know, our mentality is they don't score. So uh, when we don't score, we don't, they don't score. When they do, you know, it relies on our defense. So uh, I feel like we didn't 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 do, a, didn't do a good job of coming out, be ready to play on the defense end. So offense will come and go. Uh, the defense can. How much did all those turnovers though hurt your defense? They got a lot of steals. I mean, that's part of the game. Um, you know, we just got to do a better job being in the right spots, reading the game, reading the offense, and, you know, find an open guy. Why were they hard to defend tonight without fouling? Say, so why were they hard to call? Yeah, yeah. Um, I feel like we didn't touch them up enough, to be honest. Um, we weren't into we weren't into the bodies. We weren't, we weren't riding, riding those screens, miscommunicating on the, you know, reds and stuff like that. So um, we just got to be more locked in. So. How much pressure do you put on yourself defensively for every assignment? It seems like, you know, every time you're, you're guarding somebody, if you miss that assignment, you kind of get frustrated, but then you get, you get right back at it. Just yeah. talk about, what, you know, how much pressure you put on yourself. I wouldn't say pressure. I just hold myself to a high standard. Um, you know, I, it's just how I am. Um, you know, somebody scores on me, I get pissed. Or, you know, excuse my language. Get a little upset. Um, but, you know, it just motivates me the next play to go out there and, you know, do a better, do a better job uh, for my teammates. So. Trying to motivate, motivate my teammates to myself. Yeah. Anybody else? Thanks, Dre. Thank you, Dre. Thanks, Dre. Steven, what did you see as some correctable areas tonight that uh, didn't go the way you wanted them to? Uh, hmm. I haven't looked at film, but going from out there, it was a sense of urgency getting back. Uh, and just the uh, focus on um, kind of what type of shots we want them to shoot. That was a, that was a big thing. Uh, we don't really touch them up and be as physical as we needed to be, make them uncomfortable. You know, they're kind of, most of the plays are just running script. So we need to slow down the pace a lot more and, yeah, kind of go from there. Ooh.
I'll give you a bit of answer in a couple of days, but, yeah, to be honest. Um, at, the, at the start of the third quarter, what was what was different for you all than it was maybe heading into the locker room at halftime? It seemed like you had some momentum going into half. And then what happened in the first? In the, to, to start third. the third quarter, yeah. Uh, it was just, just how it takes, honestly. It was just uh, kind of needed to help out Russ a lot more with, uh, with that. That's what kind of, correct me if I'm wrong, that was when we had a string of turnovers there. Yeah. yeah, so we just needed to really help, and help a lot of more. They were just selling out on the rolls and uh, really doubling on Russ, like just um, blitzing. So we need to help him out a lot more on that one. So, yeah, we'll look at it, mate. Kind of get better from there. Why do you think you had so many turnovers tonight? 23 or 24 turnovers? Was it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, it was, it was one of the things where it was just like physicality on the offensive end and uh, kind of just, as I said before, like us helping Russ out. We usually just like kind of not take advantage of him, but just like take it for granted that he's like a really, really good player and we feel like that he's good enough to go around doubles or whatnot. So we need to pull over a lot more catches, um, be physical. It's all the small things like getting open on offense. Um, making the catches a lot more easier. Those would have helped out on the turnovers, but 24, mate. Yeah, that's great. Anybody else? Thanks, Stevie. Thanks, Jordan. Stevie.